Now is 7.15, and today marks 30 years since 12-year-old Polly Klass was kidnapped by knife point from her Petaluma home during a slumber party. It was a case that was both heartbreaking and terrifying for the Bay Area and the nation. And it was a case that sparked major changes in how these types of cases are both investigated and prosecuted. 30 years later, emotions are still high. KTVU's Henry Lee takes a look. October 1st, 1993, the date 12-year-old Polly Class was kidnapped during a sleepover at her home in normally quiet Petaluma. She was found dead two months later. Her killer sent to death row where he remains today. It makes me so angry. <laughs> you know, it really does. You know, I'm still dealing with major anxieties 30 years later. As her mom slept in the next room, Polly had two girlfriends over at her home. A man suddenly appeared in the doorway with a knife. He told the girls to lie on the ground, asked who lived there, and when Polly answered up, he took her and left. Polly's father, longtime child advocate Mark Class, says the pain has subsided but will always be there. The whole idea when people tell you to, to get on with your life or to get over it is, is ridiculous. It's absurd because you can't put something like that behind you. Cherished photos on his walls, replacing the ones once plastered on missing posters across the Bay Area. A painful reminder of the tragedy that will always be part of Petaluma's past. Just a lot of more stranger danger and lots of doors locked. And Shannon Russell was 10 when Polly was kidnapped. The two had been in the same soccer league. It definitely defines Petaluma. I've traveled all over the world and people will hear the word Petaluma and they'll say, oh, Polly class. And they live in other countries, other places. Polly's killer, Richard Allen Davis, was identified after investigators realized Sonoma County Sheriff's deputies had contacted him hours after the kidnapping when his pinot got stuck in a ditch. He's been sentenced to death, but the death penalty now on hold in California. If there was any justice in the world, he'd be, he'd be in the ground and she'd still be walking around. Vail Bello worked the investigation as a detective sergeant with the Petaluma Police Department. The fact that, that Davis is still here, the fact that he's still alive and, and being taken care of um, by our state dollars, it, you know, it, it, it doesn't just bother me, it bothers a lot of us. Davis led investigators to a shallow grave near Cloverdale where he had left Polly's body. He was smoking a cigarette with his hands cupped in front of him like he didn't have a care in the world. Bello says he actually thought about shooting Davis right there. I started to reach for my shoulder holster. I had, a, I had my, my pistol there, and um, my now good friend from the FBI reached over and he's like, hey, man, hey, hey, that's, you know, not worth it. Polly hotline. Polly's case has spurred many changes. There's kidnap protocols now. There's things like Megan's Law, which notify the public about sex offenders living in, within their community so that they can use that information. We have an Amber Alert now. He's a sociopath. He's a walking embodiment of why you have a death penalty. And, and of course, this case spawned the three strikes law KTVU political analyst Brian Sobel was vice mayor of Petaluma at the time of the kidnapping. He's visited Davis at San Quentin Prison, where he refused to admit that he had sexually assaulted her. And at one point, he got very frustrated, and he said, you know, if I ever admitted to that, I'd be dead. And I said, Rick, you're dead anyway. Sobel and Class say California has yo-yoed with respect to its criminal justice policies, from three strikes to progressive DAs calling for reforms. And it's not just DAs, it's politicians as well. The politicians seem to, have, seem to be doing everything that they can to empty out the prisons, um, and that includes putting dangerous people back on the street. In some ways, Petaluma seems to have gone back to its small-town reputation. The Poly Class Theater opened in time for the 30-year anniversary. She wanted to pursue acting. That's what she wanted to do, you know, and she was pretty good at it. Uh, she was really coming into her own as a human being. I'm Pegasus, the winged horse. Let your own heart take wing and fly. Polly would have been 42 this year, but she will forever be 12. In Petaluma, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.